All right, what's happening? So we got the probably the shittiest UFC card of the year going down uh, this weekend. And uh, I'm not even going to waste my time and give you guys just long breakdowns of each fight because uh, it's just not worth my time and it's not worth your time either. I believe this fight was supposed to be Chito Vera and Sandhagen. And unfortunately, those guys pulled out or something and now we're dealing with Andraj and Aaron Blanchfield in uh, the main event. So what a UFC, the last one though, the great card, man, uh, Makachev, Volkanovski, Volkanovski surprised me, dude. I did not um, see that coming. I think, uh, you know, I just went back, watched the fight a couple times. I thought I had Islam, winning the fight you know the fact that he took his back a couple times you can't give Volkanovski those rounds when you get your back taken right round one I believe he got his back taken round uh three or four he got his back taken as well and uh those those rounds automatically I give to Islam but that fifth round Volkanovski definitely won came out strong you know hurt Islam Islam looked exhausted I, th- I truly believe that was not the best Islam um, you've seen. I think there were some issues surrounding maybe either the weight cut or maybe he came to Australia too early. Didn't, um, sorry, not too early, too late. Didn't have uh, time to acclimate. But uh, yeah, I, I think if they have a rematch, I think you're going to see a whole different Islam Makachev, in my opinion. But, you know, Volkanovski is the real deal. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, let's get into it. So we got Jessica Andraj, Aaron Blanchfield, Jessica Andraj coming off uh, you know impressive performance over Lauren Murphy, and Aaron Blanchfield coming off an impressive performance over Molly McCann. Um, to be honest, I don't know with this one. I don't, you know, female MMA is not my area of expertise. But if I were gonna bet on it, um. I'll lean towards Aaron Blanchfield. I think uh, I'll go with her on this one. Up next, Jordan Wright is, uh, takes on uh, Zach Puega. Um, Jordan Wright, this guy's, I don't know. Why is he in the co-main event, bro? You got three straight losses, four losses in your last five fights. Your only one win was to over Jamie Pickett. Why are you in the co-main? That's what I'm trying to tell you. This fight is horrible. Hopefully you guys make some money betting against them. Cause these are the cards you can make easy money. Those pay-per-views um, odds makers are on point on those pay-per-views, right? Cause that's where mostly people bet on, but these small cards, no one's really betting on these. This is a chance for you guys to really make some money and bet against someone like Jordan, Wright. I mean, I think Zach uh, Puaga, even the fact that he's only got six pro fights, I think he, uh, he wins this uh, fight, but. We shall see. But yeah, I don't know why he's in the co-main. Josh Parisian takes on Jamal. Well, I haven't, uh, I don't even know how to pronounce his last name, but Josh Parisian coming off a win over Alan Boudot. And before that, he lost to Dontel Mays. He also lost to Parker Porter, uh, that guy who just got knocked out by uh, Justin Taffa or whatever. He's fighting uh, Jamal, the Stormtrooper, coming off two unanimous decision wins. Yeah, I'm going to go with Jamal on this one. I think uh, he should get it done. Up next, William Knight takes on Marcin Prachnio. William Knight coming off two straight losses. Marcin Prachnio, um, on the other hand, is coming off. A loss to Felipe Linz, but before that, he had two straight wins, including a win over Khalil Roundtree, which was, you know, pretty impressive. Khalil's been uh, looking pretty good. But um, definitely Marcin's worst loss is to Sam Alvey. He got knocked out by Sam Alvey in 2018, five years ago. And, uh, yeah, significant height advantage. One guy's 6'3", the other guy 5'10". I'm going to go with Marcin Prachny on this one. 
up next, Jim Miller still doing the damn thing. This guy should be in the co-main legend. Jim Miller, age 39, still doing the damn thing. Um, and he's coming off some wins too. He's got three straight wins um, over Donald Cerrone. Obviously, you know, not the same Donald Cerrone, but even before that, he beat Nicholas Moda and Eric Gonzalez, finished them. And, you know, he's been looking good, man. But unfortunately for him, he's taking on Alexander Hernandez, you know, 30 years old. This kid, when he came into the UFC, he came in with a bang, knocked out Benil Dariush in like 40 seconds, and then had another win, but then just hasn't looked the same after that Donald Cerrone knockout. But um, uh, Alex Hernandez coming off two straight losses. I think he should be able to turn this one around, and I think he beats Jim Miller. I think Jim Miller's time's up. And I think uh, Alex Hernandez is going to be uh, just a bad matchup for him overall. But just don't play with the submission game of Jim Miller because uh, Jim Miller's for real in the jiu-jitsu department. All right, this guy, Nazim Sadiakov. There's a lot of people talking about him. He's from Azerbaijan, I believe. They call him the Black Wolf. Right. Um yeah, I'm going Nazim Sadiakov. I think they're going to try to promote this guy. And uh, I think he should be able to slice through Evan Elder. And Joe Selecki, I think. Uh, so this is the guy, Kusain Askabov, 23-0. Don't know why he's on the prelims. And I don't know why he's only minus 155. Has they've just been feeding him tuna cans or what? Because 23 and 0, that's an impressive record for an MMA. Dude, he should be able to slice through Jamal Emmers. So I'm going with Kusain Askabov all day, but it's weird how he's only a minus 155 favorite. Um, yeah, this guy's for real. 23 and 0. Up next, Felipe Linz over in St. Pru. I think St. Pru's time's done. I'll go with Linz on that one. AJ Fletcher, I'll take him over Temba. Haven't really seen too much of this Grimbo guy. And I'll go with Clayton Carpenter for the first fight because both guys pretty inexperienced. Um, so I'm slightly leaning towards Clayton Carpenter. And uh, yeah, those are my picks. So if you guys need a place to bet, bet US, promo code Iceman. These are some of the cards you can uh, really build that bankroll because uh, they're going to want to build up some of these fighters on this card. So. Hopefully you can uh, make some money out.